In 2009, Brian Hogan was assaulted on a night out in Nottingham. The Limerick man hit his head off the ground after being punched by a stranger, but told friends he was okay. In his early 30s, he subsequently ended up in a nursing home. And I was moved into a facility which did advertise itself as a brain injury unit. I was moved in there and I, uh, it wasn't a brain injury unit. It was an old folks home. I felt lost. I was totally, and the rope pulled out from under me. It was like, like getting a second assault. Brian is now in a more appropriate, acquired brain injuries Ireland step-down facility in County Clare. But his story is not unique. New HSE figures obtained by RTE News under the Freedom of Information Act show 1,250 people under the age of 65 are living in nursing homes in Ireland. The average stay is 4.5 years and the longest 19.5 years, while the youngest person in a nursing home is aged between 20 and 29. The figures are down slightly from May 2021, when an ombudsman investigation found 1,300 people under the age of 65 were being cared for in nursing homes. But advocacy groups say more needs to be done. Somebody in their 30s after a road traffic accident, somebody in their 40s with MS, and they're in a nursing home, 50, 80 people, a majority of whom might have dementia. Um, that really raises profound questions. People might be surprised to know that some of the people who are in nursing homes actually go to work on a daily basis. So it's very evident that they can support themselves, that they can manage the, uh, life in general, but they need a little bit of extra help. In a statement accompanying the FOI figures, the HSE said it accepts placing younger people in nursing homes is often inappropriate and has set up an integrated steering committee to implement the Wasted Lives recommendations. Brian Hogan says the changes can't come soon enough. I, I like to say that I was rescued out of the nursing home by a choir brain injury island. Nursing homes are not, they're, 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 in, they're the incorrect setting for anyone wanting to rebuild their lives. A message those affected say needs to be heard. Fiat Kroakjana, RTE News.